We are recording. All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome to uh, the Coder School's first uh, live app stream. Uh, my name is Hansel. I am the uh, CEO and founder of the Coder School. I'm here with my man, Wayne. Hey, I'm Wayne. Um, I'm the CEO of the Coder School. I'm hanging out here with Hansel. Um, well, actually, I'm not really hanging out with him. If you can't tell, we're actually being um, social distancing. And so he's in his house and I'm in my house, but we're hanging out together here on camera. Yeah, yeah. So we're going we're gonna to show you guys a little app today that uh, we made that uh, is actually pretty relevant to the times. Hope everybody out there is staying safe and staying healthy. Uh, we're going to do a little app that, uh, that, that shows you how uh, coronavirus might spread in our totally awesome simulation. Um, but before, uh, before we do that, before we get into uh, making the app, we're going to uh, do a little tech talk. Tech talk is what we call uh, uh, a tech talk. <laughs> yeah, to talk, talk about, about a technology, technology some <laughs> random technology. And so there, and it's an abbreviation for technology talk. There yeah, you go. Yeah, that's cool, right? <laughs> Um, yeah, so, so we're going to jump right in and talk about that a little bit, uh, and, then, and then I'll go ahead and share my screen after that, and we'll get into some coding. Um, all right, well, I guess like any good radio show, we better remind you who the heck we are. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're from the code. This is something we just read online just like uh, 10 minutes ago that we're supposed to keep repeating who we are. So I'm Hansel. This is and Wayne. I'm Wayne, yeah. <laughs> and we are doing the Coder School app stream right here. All live. right, good. So, all right, so for our first Tech Talk, we thought we would talk a little bit about uh, something that everybody has probably seen by now, these virtual backgrounds. Check this out, this virtual background, it's like I'm at our coder school or something. Yeah, um, but you're so, not, but you're not, right? That's the whole point of it. But I'm not, I'm actually in my house. I'm touching my wall right now. No, I'm not really doing it, but, but I'm actually in my house. My house is a mess, so I wanted to do a virtual background. Wayne, why, is you, why don't you have a virtual background? Yeah, let's see here. So. Uncool. Uh, well, I'm uncool. I don't have a cool background, but like, l let me show you a couple backgrounds. Whoa. If I do it, I'm kind of like space ghost. But the reason here is that mine's not as smooth as Hansel's. My uh, microprocessor is not quite as fast as Hansel's. So the different computers that you have, you might have an older one, and you're going to look more like space ghost, like this. Yeah, you, this need upgrade, cool. your, you need to upgrade your computer, yeah. man. <laughs> that is true. Um, yeah, yeah, I need to build that in. <laughs> All right, so who knows how a uh, virtual background works? Show of hands? Anybody? Bueller? <laughs> yeah, Bueller, well, man. It's really just Wayne and I, so uh, <laughs> I guess nobody's raising their hand. Um, so how does it work? Uh, Wayne, give us, a, give us a lowdown. Give us a quick lowdown on how a green screen works. Yeah, so if you're familiar with the green screen, with screen which I think most of you are, you know, the movies use it to make Superman fly and things like that. So you've probably at least seen some actors or heard about it, but uh, it's kind of similar a little bit, right? And that somebody's uh, not really where they are. And, and so they use green screens to kind of simulate that. And they, they filter out the green. But, um, but the virtual yeah, background is a whole nother level, which yeah, actually that's handle. <laughs> that's kind of the old fashioned lame way that the green screen yeah. is the easy way to do these videos. So, so actually Zoom, um, I don't work for Zoom, although maybe I wish I did because they're doing really awesome in this. Uh, everybody's using Zoom right now. Um, but Zoom have these uh, really awesome engineers that uh, it actually uses some form of artificial intelligence. You guys probably know that when you make a video, it's, it's made up of a bunch of pictures, right? I wish I had my Bruce Lee flip book to show you guys, but it's like a flip book. A video is like a flip book. It shows you a bunch of pictures really quickly. That's how it, uh, things seem like they move. Um, and so what happens is the computer is so fast that every frame, every picture that it records, a computer is really quickly able to go, oop, there's Hansel's shoulders and there's his bald head. It's nice and you know even that goes all the way across. And it knows to uh, cut me out of my background, which looks, uh, let me see, let me see if I can <clears throat> show you my normal background. This is my bedroom right here, just my wall. So that's what that looks like and so, um, the computer is smart enough and fast enough to, to, to cut me out of it and uh, put, a, uh, put a virtual background on the back. It uses actually uh, artificial intelligence. It uses all these crazy algorithms, um, which I'm pretending I know a lot about, but I have no idea actually what they're doing um, because the AI behind this is, is really tough stuff. It, it uses uh, deep learning uh, 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 algorithms. You guys can use that cool buzzword later with your friends if you want. Um, it essentially has looked at... Um, bajillion pictures of people 
and it cobbles it together in the computer mind to know that, well, most people have shoulders like this, most, pe most people have a head like this, and that's how they, they cut out a picture of a person um, and put a virtual background in the back like that. So that's about all I know about it. Um, but I beyond that, yeah, so we've all, you know, I mean, virtual backgrounds are super fun. So have a lot of fun with them because I know you're all going to be in Zoom meetings for at least the next several weeks here, it looks like, and maybe a few months. But have a lot of fun with them. And now, hopefully, too much you at fun. least know, yeah, yeah, not too much fun, but hopefully you, you pay at least know sort of how they work. Um, and there's a lot of artificial intelligence behind it if, if, if you learned at least one thing from this tech talk. Yeah, Again, and, and AI is like super tough stuff, but it, Wayne and I have been coding for, I don't know, 30 years, and we're, we're pretty good coders. We can code some stuff on the web, and we can code some stuff on the back end and stuff, but the AI stuff, honestly, it's, it's really beyond us. It's for people who have PhDs and, and are real computer scientists. So if that's interesting to you guys, uh, think about uh, you know going into computer science as a major. Wayne, my screen yeah. looked totally frozen. Was it frozen for you? No. No, nice that's cool. probably your internet, man. <laughs> right, I gotta step up on that. All right, so yeah. let's get into uh, the actual app stream, the Coder School app stream. Let's uh, start doing um, the app and uh, have some good Yeah, who are on. we again? Who are we again? We are the Coder School app stream. Yeah, Hansel uh, now kids. and Wayne. And Hansel and Wayne, the Coder the School app stream. That's right. <laughs> um, all right, now Hansel's kids. The one, uh, Hansel's the one without hair, Wayne's the one with hair. I guess. Easy if to remember. get confused. <laughs> or if you can't just read our names, I guess our names are right there. So there you go. There you <laughs> That's go. Smart thinking. All right. So kids, uh, we are about to jump on to uh, Scratch. We're going to use Scratch today um, and, and show you guys some uh, cool logic uh, for a kind of a cool app, which we can make pretty quickly. So a lot of you guys are probably familiar with Scratch already. Um, if you're not, uh, what you want to do now is uh, hit pause if you can, uh, if, if, if you need to, uh, or uh, just bust open a browser and go to scratch.mit.edu. And uh, then I am going to share my screen here shortly. Ooh, Wayne just made me the host, gave me all the yeah. power. Gave you all the power, Hansel. Rock and roll. I'm gonna throw down right about now. All right, so sharing, sharing, sharing. Oh, I got so many windows yeah. up. Okay, here we go. Yeah, all right. All right. So this that is works. the Scratch screen. You guys have probably seen this or have been here. If, if not, uh, if you got to scratch.mid.edu, I think you hit uh, create, I think it is up here and you'll get to the screen. So here we are. All right, so this is a completely blank screen and um, I'm gonna be the play-by-play -play guy and so, sort of start dragging some blocks. You guys, please do follow along. Um, Wayne's gonna be our color commentator and we're gonna put pressure on him to make hilarious jokes. <laughs> yeah, man. And, uh, and for any of you guys calling in, I'll take calls and commentary and everything, <laughs> even though we're actually kind of recording this. So probably unlikely, but I'll definitely take those and I'll feed them yeah. to you, Hansel. You never know, even though we're recording, somebody might pop in. You never in. know. Somebody <laughs> might kind of know that we're recording. They might actually just text me a question. All yeah. right, here we go, guys. Uh, okay, so we're gonna start from a completely empty screen here. This is what Scratch looks like uh, when you start. Uh, it's just this cat dude. You guys have probably seen this cute cat dude. So we're gonna start with um, doing a uh, random glider. So let's see. We're gonna go, what are we gonna do? We're gonna go do a forever loop. Kids love forever loops, right? Because things go on forever. Um, and we're just gonna do this really simple thing up here under motion, click on motion. And we're going to say glide one second to a random position. That's it. So uh, click on that thing and yeah. what you'll yeah. see is the cat just go flying around everywhere. Pretty cool, huh? I guess, I guess we haven't really talked about what this app that we're doing actually That's is. That's true. That's right. Let's talk about the app stream and our first app ever. This is the first episode and, and, and the app that we're actually going to build. First um, app ever. Do we see, even have a name for it? I know it's coronavirus. <laughs> emulation you know centric but uh, you're that. usually Rotor very creative and, and you usually centric. come up with some really cool names Hansel. what's I'm a good name it for it coronavirus <laughs> emulation centric app <laughs> there you go there you go very short and easy to remember name see short and easy coronavirus uh, okay emulator <laughs> so what this thing is going to show us actually what we're going to do is we're going to uh this cat right here represents a person represents a cool cat so to speak and what he's basically doing right now is just he's going uh, he's going from place to place. So uh, we're we're 
simulating that he's going from home to, to work. Now he's at school. Now he's at the grocery store. So basically, it's a guy who's just going around everywhere, right? That's, that's what yeah. this pet is simulating. And to give a little background onto the app itself. So it, we are trying to actually build something that's going to emulate the coronavirus and how contagious it is and if people are going around and they can spread it. Uh, and so, you know, the cat is right. going to be representing uh, just a, a regular person. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's 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 a really good point. All joking aside, there's actually a pretty interesting lesson uh, to learn out of this. So, so, um, so let's keep going. So our guide is our guy is kind of still bouncing around here. So what we're going to do is we are going to so, so this screen is pretty small, and this cat is gigantic. Um, you guys aren't giants, <laughs> and the world is much bigger than that. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this cat. Ooh, uh, much glad smaller. you stopped that. I think Actually, I think I was Busy. hypnotized. <laughs> yeah, you can get hypnotized by that cat, actually, with the glider. Hypnotized. That's a, that's a shout out back to David Letterman from the old days for those actually, who Actually, that is David Letterman, <laughs> and none of you should be old enough to remember him. <laughs> All right, so this cat is too big for me, so I'm going to set this cat size. Uh, so I clicked on looks, this purple stuff here, which uh, uh, changes the looks of the sprite, and I'm going to set this cat size to, I'm going to say 30%, and then... So I just type in 30, I click that guy right there, and bazinga, bazawa, Boom. right there. Gave him a little shrinking power and made him a little tinier. Actually, I'm going to make yeah, him man. more than that. I'm going to make him 20. You guys can, can do whatever you'd like. Uh, 20 seems like a good number, because now he's kind of a little cat in the big world here. Yeah, maybe even show them 10 or 5% just to emulate, you know, the famous Ant-Man right now that, uh, you know, yeah. everybody knows about. The Marvel, he's the Marvel person, isn't he? Is it from Marvel? He is, yeah. All right. You don't know that? You've been living under a rock. See, look, five. Yeah. Ooh. Well, <laughs> you will make him microscopic. True. Okay, all right. Oh, yeah, good. look at that, man. <laughs> that is Ant Man. Right. Now we're being immature. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there we go. 20%. Okay. All right, 20%. All right, 20%. So, what we're going to do is uh, so you're not the only person living in this world. This cool cat is not the only person living in this world. What we're going to do is have a, a bunch of cats living in this world. Now, we are gonna use this pretty cool functionality in Scratch called clone. I don't know if you guys have used this before, but it's pretty neat, create a clone of myself. Um, kind of like creating a, yeah, a twin of yourself, right? So if you guys have never really um, heard the term clone, but it, it's basically like creating a duplicate. Um, and yeah. I think in science, they, they use that when they take like a, you know, a genetic, uh, you know, slice of, of something and then they try to create like a an animal and, and, and they're creating a complete copy of it so that it's essentially the same thing here in, in the yeah. scratch coding environment wouldn't yeah. it be cool if you could make a million copies of yourself you can do all your homework in like two seconds <laughs> yeah um, so that's what we're going to do here so we're going to take this cat and i so you guys saw that i put this repeat loop around it so what it's going to do is it's going to repeat this 10 times and create 10 clones of myself so um, what I'm going to do, though, is I'm also going to add this new control, another control block, or I'm sorry, not control block, this event block. So it's, I don't know why they made these colors so similar, <laughs> but it's, but it's yeah. right about where we want to we click the yellow, not, not the yellow orange, but the yellow orange yellow. Yeah, the yellow sunshiny <laughs> right one and not the sunkissed one. Right. But they have another orange one under variable. So there you go, <laughs> just to make it even more. Different kind of orange. All right, so what we're going to do is say, uh, when, when, wait, where is it? Who knows where when, when I start as a sprite is? <laughs> Maybe it's not up well, there. It's down here. Here we go. Yeah, All right, yeah. so it's in the other orange section. My bad. <laughs> it's, in, it's right above the great clone in the control yeah. section. The orange, orange section. All right. So when I create a clone, when I start as a clone. So, so I'm going to tag that bad boy right above here. So let's, let's think about, before I run this, let's think about what that's going to do. So repeat 10 times. So obviously I'm going to do this 10 times. I'm going to create 10 clones of myself. And when I create a clone, this whole, all of the code of this clone will be copied over to the clone. That means all of the, clone will, all of the clones will have this code in it. So when I start as a clone, so, so when this guy uh, is basically born, as soon as he born, he's born, he's going to start running this code, and he's going to go on forever. So before I click the button, think for a second what, you guys, what do you guys think that it will actually do? 
Wayne, are you smart enough to figure out that code? What do you think it'll do? Yeah, I think it's going to be like he's going to be born because he's a, you know, when he starts as a clone. So he kind of comes out of the, you know, thing. And, and you know, um, most babies would start crying. But this one, he's forever going to follow the command and say, I'm going to just keep gliding, you know, to some random position every one second. That's right. It's like you're a professional coder or something. You figured it out. Somehow. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, that's the beauty of Scratch. I do want to give kudos to Scratch and the MIT team behind it that uh, put this out there and it, it's free for everyone. You can all try it out, but they've done a wonderful job. I mean, think about how intuitive that is. I mean, even if you weren't a coder or whatnot, I was pretty much reading the instructions there, you know? Yeah, so let's do it. So I'm going to click this thing. Let's do it. There you go. It makes 10 of us, 10 of this cat, and it's just moving around the world, just like Wayne said. So, so, so again, we're going to go back to the analogy. This is, you know, that first cool cat is actually staying in place. Um, I won't, uh, I won't dig into why that's the case, but he, he's basically not running his code because he's not a clone. He himself is not a clone, but all his, all of his clones are going in a forever loop and gliding to random positions around in the screen. So what Man, is this? Like? Yeah, yeah. They look so big. It's just like busy bodies just running around. Yeah, it's, it's like you're in New York or something. <laughs> why is that one that? sit? What, what, what's up with the one, though, that sits frozen up in the upper right? Wayne, you weren't listening to what I was just saying five <laughs> seconds ago. <laughs> <laughs> that guy, this guy up in the upper right is actually the original guy. He's not, he's ah, that right, not right. the clone. And so because he's not the clone, he, he didn't get this message that says when I start as a clone. So he's not running around forever. He is just, he just, he just basically had 10 babies and is, is chilling out because he doesn't have any perfect. code to run. Perfect. Awesome. I did zone out and I did miss that. Sorry about that. <laughs> hey, no, no sleeping during the app stream, man. <laughs> well, I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to do the all of the make sure that the app stream, the recording's going okay and all that. So we're kind of doing the production quality as well. So yeah. sorry about that, though. That, that was, uh... <laughs> and in case you swear, I'm kind of like on edge. You know, I want yeah, to we'll, like kind of we'll bleep it out. that out. Yeah, <laughs> trying to be like we'll radio personality. So, all right. All right. So, here, so here we are. So we got we got uh, ten guys here, and I'm sure you guys by now have put in ninety or a thousand or a million cats running around, which is totally fine. So this is our this is our simulation of uh, what New York could look like when it's probably not that busy. <laughs> Just a bunch <laughs> of cats running around, bumping into each other, and walking around, right? Yeah. So, so now now let's let's do something more interesting and, and get to the interesting part. What we're gonna do is, um, you see how some of these cats, they sometimes run into each other and, and, and well, I guess they just kind of run past each other. <laughs> um, um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some code in, into this to where if one cat is uh, red, uh, that if they touch another cat that's not red, they will turn that cat red also. You know, so like know catching, you know, catching the virus, right? I mean, right. spreading the disease. So that's, that's what right. we're trying to, simulate here um that's right that's right so if you're yeah. red uh you know you have the virus if you're not then you're a healthy person so let's try to simulate that so um what we're going to do is we're going to take these sprites and we are going to change them up a little bit so i'm going to hit stop i'm going to go into costumes over here for this sprite okay it just so happens that uh this default sprite that just comes with it um that it starts with has uh, two different versions normally it's used to to show the cat walking, you can see it kind of going. Right. Back if you click back and forth, you can make it look like he's walking. Yeah. Yeah. So, just but like animation, not, just like animation. Animation, that's right. Yeah. This time, what we're going to do is we're going to try to make him, uh, uh, we're going to have the second guy uh, represent uh, the, a sick cat. All right. So, to do that, we want to click on the second one. We want to, let's, let's, uh, purple's cool, but not as, not as deadly sounding as red. <laughs> red is always yeah. deadly sounding. So we'll change that to red. And what we're going to do is click this little fill icon. And what we can do is actually change this guy to a red cat. So anywhere where it's orange, click on the orange part and change it red. You can even, I'm going to make his mouth red. Ooh, he looks like Pretty a cool. Zombie. Pretty cool. That's right. Zombie man. cat. He, he's a zombie cat. <laughs> he's not going to pass the test. He's, not, he's going to test positive for sure. That's right. That's right. Just looking at him, he looks positive. Exactly. Right, so he looks like it. <laughs> fever. So it looks like he's running a fever for right off the bat. That's right, on in his teeth. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna go back to the code here, and what we're gonna do is uh, we are well. Okay. Let's. Um, what should we do? What should we do? Let's 
so I clicked on this red guy, which, which, so now he's red, but let's, let's click back to the healthy guy. So we, so click on this so that when he starts, he's healthy. So yeah. now see the cat right here and right here, he's actually healthy and uh, yellow. So what we're going to do is we're going to see, <clears throat> we're going to have these clones check to see if it's touched a red uh, guy. So what we're going to do is while he's gliding this, after he does a glide, he is going to check. So put in that if Throwing statement. Throwing in some binary logic here. Some binary, binary logic, throwing logic. it in there. You or one. May have seen that if uh -huh. then, if then. We're gonna go into the sensing uh, here and we're gonna take if touching color. So put that in there. And so, so what this is saying is if this, this clone when, it, when he's done gliding, he's going to check to see if he's touching this color. Okay, if he is, we are going to change his costume to be red, right? So if he touches somebody else's red, then he's going to, he himself is going to turn red. So the way you change the costume is if you go into looks, you can do a switch costume to costume two. Now costume two, uh, we can rename it, but we'll just remember that costume two is, is the one that is a sick cat. Right, okay? right. We only have two costumes, so sort of easy in this case. That's right. Now, uh, um, the touching color. So uh, a, a sick cat is actually not purple and, and it, ha it actually has to be red. And so what we're going to do is, um, you know what, I'm going to come back into costumes and I am going to change the original guy to be the sick guy. So we're going to start off with having the original guy be the sick guy. So click on the devil cat. I'm going to call him the devil cat now because he looks like the devil. He does look like the devil. Click on the devil cat. All right. The devil cat. Click on the devil cat and then cat, and then go back to the code. Um, so the devil cat is red, and so instead of purple, what we want to do is do red. Now this guy is very small, but click on that purple, and it'll come up with this screen, right? This this shows you any color that you can have it check on whether it's touching. What we're going to do is use this thing called a little eyedropper, and we're going to go into here and look for the cat, and we're going to say very cool. red. So, so put the you know put the little magnifying glass over a red part of the cat until that outside ring there, that outside circle turns red. See how it's like different colors. If you put that Very dot cool. over a red part, click it, and red. So, if touching color red, then switch costume to two. Yeah, I don't think so, I've done that. I I usually don't mess with my sprites too much because I'm not very artistic. But that's a pretty cool little feature there. It even looks kind of fun. It might even yeah. tempt me to do that. Yeah, hey, though, so, um, before I forget, <laughs> who are we again? <laughs> <laughs> Can I just have a running ticker in the back? We are the Coder yeah, School yeah. App Stream. <laughs> yeah, we've got Hansel Lin and Wayne Tang, and this is the Coder School App Stream again, if you're joining us late. But again, we're yeah. recording this, so that's highly unlikely. <laughs> just in Unless case. We broadcast this live. Okay. Yeah, that's true. So now we got, if touching, if touching this color, then uh, switch costume to costume two. Now, Here's the thing, guys. This is remember this guy up here is our original guy. When I click, uh, you know what? I'm gonna put this flag on here. You guys probably know what this does, but uh, so in events we have a win flag clicked. We're gonna create a clone of myself, ten clones of myself. So that's this flag right here. So when I click it, Wayne, what's this thing gonna do? He's gonna repeat ten times and create ten clone puppies of himself. That's what I'm thinking. Clone puppies, that's right. And every puppy is gonna be gliding around and checking to see if they touch something else that's red. And if they do, then it's gonna switch the costume to, to costume two, which is the devil cat. Yeah. Right? So, hey, and a question from Oklahoma from an eight-year-old Timmy. Um, <laughs> but he could be fictional Oklahoma? since we're recording this. But he's asking, <laughs> so would you wanna maybe hide that dude, that, that first dude? Or, or leave him on the screen. We might, but uh, I think for now, we need somebody to, to actually have the babies and just kind of hang out and watch. Um, but, but hey, but you know what? I actually found there's a bug right here. Before I even run it, I know there's a bug already. Uh, Wayne, what, <laughs> what, do you, what do you think Let's the bug is? Let's see here. Going? So um, it's unlikely there's a bug with the very first one I'm thinking because he's just repeating 10 times. He's creating 10 clones. So I would go and I'd look at the beefier code here. So it's kind of like when I start as a clone and I'm forever gliding around. Um, let's see here. 
Uh, you no, you didn't pass the test. You're supposed to. You're supposed to give the answer within three seconds. <laughs> yeah, well, my debugging is actually old school. I, I, I would actually just ask you to put a print statement after each one of these blocks, and then I'll yeah. be like, okay, did it print? Did it? Yeah, print? we don't use breakpoints. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. I need a breakpoint. Developer but, uh, humor. All right. Yeah, so where are, where, where's the issue? Uh, what the issue is, is actually when I start as a clone, uh, this guy is already red. So all of my guys are going to be red. Ah. Everybody's already sick. So that doesn't really have <laughs> coronavirus very much. Yeah. But everybody's already sick. Yeah, that would have been unfair. <laughs> so what we're going to do is because of that bug, we're going to come in here and say, well, let's, as soon as we start as a clone, let's just say, hey, we got to start healthy. Costume one is healthy, right? And so that, that actually did lead me to that other um, caller's question, which is probably <laughs> myself. But it's kind of like how, you know, um, we want to think about like, so they all start off healthy and everybody's healthy. You know, how do we inject that very first, you know, um, That's right. virus, I guess, you know? So. That's right. That's right. How do we, how do we emulate Wuhan? <laughs> yeah. How do we emulate yeah. that, man? Like, and your thing that <laughs> yeah, I have no idea really how it all started. I've read a lot of weird stories. I don't even know if I want to, you know, propagate those random weird rumors and stuff, but like, you know, people say yeah. bad so, or a what, snake. What, or, what we're going to do here is we're just going to uh, assume that this, uh, this original guy, this original guy that we have, he is the starter of the virus. So he's going to be red Got it. and everybody's is going to be healthy. So I'm going to hit, I'm going to hit the green flag and it's probably not going to work as, as we thought that it would, but you see that there's nine other folks in there. That's Ooh. healthy. Ooh, one guy. Ooh, one got it, dude. One Check got him it. out. Got but it. look. Hey, he oh, another one got it. Oh, oh, hey, one got it. But I am seeing him hit some others and maybe not quite getting it. So I guess we got to figure out is a delay or something, you know? Yeah. Well, that's right. That's right. Exactly. So, so what, what the issue is, is, is if you see this glide one second, this gets a little bit more technical with the glide one second, the code, actually the computer won't check for the color until it's done gliding. Ah, so if that's you're gliding from one side sure. of the screen to the other, then it's not going to, it's, you know, if you run straight through a cat, it's not going to know. That said, look, wow, hey, I didn't expect this, but everybody's everybody is already red. Wow, this is a dangerous virus. <laughs> you just killed the world, dude. <laughs> this is a dangerous virus. Wow, look at that. Okay, well, hey, oh, maybe man. this even works this way. Maybe we'll just try it this way. <laughs> Let's just see if it works this way. It kind of does. Of that That's true. It did kind of emulate it. Um, yeah. Okay, but uh, ooh, ah, but then I can't emulate the other part of like staying home. All right, so we're not going to do that. Yeah, yeah. That's going to be harder. Okay, so. So what we're going to do is see these guys are gliding all over the screen. Instead of gliding like that, we're going to change it to where they move a little bit uh, in a random direction. All right. right. So and what, maybe go into the thought process behind that and what that emulates and what that gives us the flexibility to control. Yeah. So let me, let me drag some of the code, uh, Wayne, and you can look at uh, yeah, each of yeah. the, the lines that I'm going to use. So what we want to do is we want to... So this is our standard way to move a guy is we do move and turn. We move and turn. We move and turn. Move and turn. Move and turn. That's what I've been doing all morning. I was cleaning my garage. <laughs> it's, that's my kung fu move, man. My move and turn. <laughs> What's up? That's true, man. That is a good move, actually. Especially <laughs> if, you, if you turn one way first and then turn the other way. That always takes people out. Yeah, left and right. All right. Left so what we're right. going to do is um, we are going to move in a random way. Uh, so uh, actually, I uh, will do a turn first. So, so turn, of course, turns your guy. Now, that reminds me of your dancing, Hansel. Does it? Move Back in a random way. <laughs> random like movement. Overbite. Yeah, and the overbite. <laughs> that's not a bad. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Bringing it back. Bringing it back. <laughs> Bringing back the old days. All right. So we're gonna turn uh, one to ten degrees. All right. So Wayne, I think we need a little lesson here on how degrees work. I'm gonna go. Negative uh, 45 to positive 45. Now, what in the heck does that mean? Yeah, I don't know if you guys have uh, messed around much with the degrees and things, but you know how everybody, you know, 360 degrees is a circle. So like if you start at the top and you go around, every little um, notch, I guess, is a degree. As you're going around, when you get to, you know, 45 is about here, 90 is about a quarter of the pie. 
Three um, o'clock. So, but three o'clock. As you go down to six o'clock, you're about at 180, and then you you keep going around to 270, um, which would be nine o'clock, and then back up to noon, which would be your 360 degrees. I would have just covered, and so 45 degrees positive would mean that you're going, you know, to three o'clock. Negative 45 is kind of like the same of going, you know, all the way, um, I guess, to uh, what, 315? <laughs> <laughs> I think we both skipped first grade math. That's why it wouldn't be, yeah, yeah. It wouldn't be three o'clock. It's, it's like a 130 because four, four, 90 degrees. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, that'd be, <laughs> that'd be 90. Three o'clock is 90. It would be like 130. You're absolutely <laughs> right, man. <laughs> Uh, yeah, another caller just called in about that. <laughs> we got so many callers. It's crazy. Okay, so we basically, colors, but, minus yeah. 45 to 45 makes it, makes it so we're, so, so if, this, if this is straightforward, we're going to pick a random number between here and here or so, something like that. So yeah. this, this V that we're both looking cool doing. <laughs> I feel totally like we're doing cool. a dance or something. This is but, our new uh, logo. It's gonna, so the guy's gonna turn somewhere randomly in here, okay? So it's, it'll be completely random, so we won't know. Every time he does it, it'll be a random direction. And we're gonna make a move, uh, also random, this green random thing here. We're just gonna make a move anywhere from one to, let's say, uh, uh, 10 steps. That was one to 10. We'll leave it at one to 10. Yeah, let's try that. Instead of gliding, we're gonna have this guy move, uh, we're gonna have this guy turn randomly and then move randomly so so it's a little bit more um precise so whereas glide we could have glide we could have glided all the way across the screen before we would have checked the color this time we're just going to move a little bit uh in a random direction and then check the color and move again so this right. will look similar to what we saw before but a little bit jerkier but it does more uh checking of the color so let's see what happens here check it out let's check it Hey, Whoa. everybody's red again. <laughs> oh, yeah. Why is that, everybody? That. Yeah. Wayne, should I be quizzing you on why is that, or, <laughs> or should I just answer? <laughs> I'll give you two seconds, though. Okay, so the reason why that is, everybody, is because it's a clone. And when you do a clone, a legit clone, this clone will start exactly where this original guy is. And so the original guy is sick, and so that means as soon as I clone him, he, the, the clone's going to get sick because the clone is touching the original guy as soon as he's cloned. That's why everybody is red when they, when they start out. So what we need to do instead, what should we do? Got to make him healthy. We're going to go to the Star Trek days and we're going to go get a teleporter. And as soon as we start as a clone, as soon as, we, as, soon as this guy like bear, bore, bears his borns, his What's the word? <laughs> clones gives himself. Birth. Gives birth. Gives birth. Gives birth. Yeah. Gives birth to himself. <laughs> We're going to make him uh, teleport. We're going to make him teleport to a random position on the screen. So that way, uh, as soon as he's cloned, he goes teleport somewhere else and doesn't get sick. So that, that's what that uh, go to a random position is going to do. Yeah. Right? And if you, if you remember right when you started the last one, did you see that whole frenzy in the upper right corner? Yeah, that's right. so that, that's not that uh, great of a simulation, right? You want kind of people are all over the map. So yeah. I think this random position will help that for sure. So now let's see what happens. So we're going to go start. All right, so people are all, uh, now this is kind of like New York City. One guy got sick already off of the sick guy. Uh, uh, and a couple people are getting sick. Up to three. Yeah, kind of so, going. So going pretty, pretty quick, right? That was pretty oh, quick. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's already dead. Yeah, they're already all sick. That was fast. That was yeah, fast. that was really fast. Now, I'm sure you guys are, are, want to see more action. Everybody loves more action. So what are we going to do here, man? Let's, let's go to 100. No, that's probably too many. <laughs> Whoa, that's probably too many. Yeah. Let's go to 50. Yeah, yeah, 50. Let's zoom. Let's see how now fast it's looking more going. like New York, dude. Check it out. Times Square. Wow. See, this is what happens uh, when it's Times Square. It's red already. There's so many carriers that carry the virus around and they get other people sick so fast, right? When it's 50. And that, that you know, quite a bit. That's probably not even New York. That's probably, I don't know, downtown San Francisco. But let's, let's do New yeah. York, 100. <laughs> yeah. Now this is, it's like really crowded. Now this is like going to an NBA game and you're sitting right next to people who are yeah. also maybe sick. Look at that. Boom. Everybody's red so fast because there's so many people with the virus. Yeah. 
And guys, that's why like people wonder why did you cancel NBA so fast? You know, all these all these sporting events where people sit right next to each other, all these concerts. This is why. This is why there's yeah. so many people. It starts with just uh, Gobert, and then it would have been boom, <laughs> the entire <laughs> Lake, <laughs> all that's of Utah, right. and then that's all right. of the Lakers, and then the team that they played, team that they that's played. Right. Your favorite yeah. team would For you basketball have gone down. fans, Gobert, you guys yeah. probably know who he is, but he was the first one to, in the NBA to have the virus. Yeah. Um, but that's that's how fast this stuff spreads. Um, so so that I mean that actually is kind kind of an emulation of, of how the virus works. Now, one difference is um, you know if, if somebody had the virus uh, and if I touched him, uh, it's not like a hundred percent sure that is, he's going to translate the virus to me, right? It's it's not like that obvious. So. What we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of uh, we're going to add a little bit of action in here. So let's 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 go back down to like uh, thirty, just so it's a little bit easier to see. So what we're yeah. going to do is when when one cat touches a uh, when a healthy cat touches a uh, unhealthy cat, we're going to give it a percentage to see whether it's likely or not that it uh, will will expose them to the disease. Yeah, so and that's a great simulation because, as you said, it, it is not 100% that you walk by another person or even touch them. It's not a guarantee that you're going to get get it. That's so right. This will make, make it a little more accurate, a little bit more like the real world. Yeah, I'm going to pretend that uh, we can pretend we're epidemiologists for a second here. There's this thing called r not. Some of you folks might have heard of it, but you adults probably have that are watching the news. It, it's kind of a reflection of how uh, contagious a disease is. And so we're kind of kind of emulate that here. Um, it's you know obviously it's not it's not a, it's not that close of an emulation, but I wanted to say R not because it sounds like I'm super smart. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you were probably like R not, what is R not? <laughs> exactly, I, I kind of was actually, but uh, but you did sound super smart. <laughs> Excellent, <laughs> I got that point across. So I kind of All felt right. like I was back in the corporate world at a meeting conference table going. <laughs> I'm not sure what that guy just said, but he sounds really smart. Sounds I'm really going to nod my head. <laughs> I'm nod my head, and, and when an email comes across my desk, I'll just be like, I think I know what that is. <laughs> okay, so back to the code. So if we're touching uh, red, what we're going to do is instead of automatically making this guy sick, which is what this costume does, we are going to first put an if-then statement in here. Let's see if I can do this right. Ba Boom. There we go. If something, then we're going to switch. Then he's going to be sick. So if what? Right. We're going to give him a chance, a percentage chance to see if he actually is sick or not sick. So how do you do percentages in here? We are going to hit this operators. And we are going to do, let's do this one, less than 50 for now. So, so take 50, a guess, 50 is kind of what you're saying. If you're, if you're doing a random number between one and a hundred, oh. you'd be giving them a 50, 50 shot. You gave right? it away, man. I was going to say. Oh, what sorry, you... sorry. Did I, <laughs> sorry. I think I just. Rewind. Let's rewind. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We'll go back to the R not segment. That, that'll <laughs> we'll go back to the R not segment. Sorry about that. All right. Okay. So, all right. So what, what, what do we put in here, guys? If I put in 50, what would that do? Nothing. <laughs> Jimmy no, from Oklahoma no. called in again. He Same said dude? He got it. He got Jesus. it this time. Yeah, I think I said Timmy last time, but Jimmy this time. <laughs> Jimmy and Timmy. All right. Yeah. All right. So we can't put 50 in here because 50 is never less than 50. It's always equal to 50. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to do a random number. All right. So it's yeah. exactly in fact, like if you put, put, In fact, if you put any real number in there, it's not going to ever change, right? Like say That's you right. put 25 in there, it's always less than. If you put 51, it's always greater than. Yeah, so that doesn't do us any good. So in this yeah. case, what we want to do, like Wayne said, is we're going to pick a random number, completely random from 1 to 100. And then we're going to check to see if it's less than 50. So how many numbers from 1 to 100 are less than 50? <laughs> Trick question, Wayne. <laughs> yeah, I guess 50. 49. Oh, you fell for the trick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> yeah, so... Yeah. Uh, you know, about 50, right? 49. So, so in this case, what we're saying is if, if, if you touch somebody who, if a cat, if a healthy cat touches a sick cat, um, there's a 50, 50 chance that they're going to get it. Now that's, that's, that's pretty high. I don't, I don't think that's, that's emulating the real world per se, because it's, it's not that likely. We're going to, it's, I mean, I think in the real world is a lot less likely than that. I don't know what the number is. 
It's probably yeah. 37.653%, if I remember correctly. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to so. <laughs> I'm gonna put but, but, 20%. But if you wear your mask, if you wear your mask like this, <laughs> oh, wait. You're safe, you're, covering... you're totally I'm safe. safe from, from, I'm being safe from everybody. you, Hansel. You're it's safe okay. from everybody on this call. <laughs> I, I can't catch this from you, can I? From a Zoom? I don't know. I pro I, I'm, I'm a pretty good programmer, man. I can program a virus through this thing. <laughs> I know. That's, that's what I'm now worried you, about, dude. That's now that I'm you worried. have the mask. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, a mask will lower your percentages. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And they are, people are saying that wearing a, a, a mask is healthy for you now, guys. So, so think about doing that. My son actually just made a ninja mask uh, for himself and for the family. Yeah. As a product actually. today. So. Fun yeah, thing for to a do. serious moment there. Actually, on all seriousness, definitely. You know, it's recommended now when you go yep. outside. So. Yep. Um, okay, so now let's look at the code again. So if we're, every time we go in here and every time we uh, touch uh, a sick cat, we're going to do a random number and check to see if uh, that random number is less than 20. So that means there's a 20% chance every time we touch a sick cat that we uh, become sick ourselves. So it, should be, it should be about one in five. So you touch like five of them, then right. you're probably going to get it. Right, we're not gonna be able to count that, but let's see what happens. So we're just gonna run it and see. So that, so they're starting to get sick a little bit. Wow, it's kind of hard to see. My eyes are going. A little bit less. It's still going pretty fast. Dang, maybe we should make it 10%. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> that, wow, that was pretty fast. Uh, I think the real life is probably more like one or two. Yeah, percent. I think so. Guess, but I, I think so. Honestly, I have zero idea. Yeah. Uh, so five percent. This, this you got. You got to imagine they're pretty healthy. That. Let's see if anybody gets sick. Sick off of our original cat. Man, man. I hope our video is not like in grayscale because that would be hilarious. Everybody's like, which cat is red? <laughs> All right. So nobody is getting sick right now. So five is too low. Yeah. Five is too you know low. What? Let's make this New York City again, and then we'll make it ten. And we'll see what happens. Okay, so now people oh, are so now yeah. because it's, again because it's New York City. Look, look what happens when it's this crowded. Whoa! Now it's turning all red almost. That's how fast it goes. Whoa! So, so really, this simulation is telling us when it's crowded like this, when there's a lot of people crowded, it's don't matter, gonna get, man. It's going to get you sick, yeah. even though there's only a ten percent chance. Actually, let's make it five percent. And have it still that's be true. Crowded. Yeah, that that's five and a hundred, but it's still gonna get you when there's so yeah. many people and there's so many people and they're all moving about like that. Yeah. So let's see. Wow. So it started slow, but now look at that. And that's what happens. That's true. Through. And that's that is a really good point because it <laughs> took a little while for that first two or three, and then though it was like bam, like nothing. yeah. And if you think about it, that's kind of what's happening now, right? In, in, in the world, you know, you, you start off, if you look at some of our states, uh, they're starting off slow. Uh, you know, New York, maybe a year, month ago, started off kind of slow, California kind of slow, and then all of a sudden it hit this huge curve and boom, you know, all these people who are getting sick. So when there's only one or two people, you know, not the, 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 the way it spreads is not very quickly, but once a few more get it, it just moves really fast. And you can see it in the simulation here. Um, so let's see, what else do we want to show? I think, I think that is, oh, I know here's, here's the last thing we want to show. And this, this is actually yeah. really important. The last thing we want to show is, is this guys. So, um, you folks have probably heard, well, let me see, I'm going to make this, well, we can keep it at a hundred actually. We could keep it at a hundred. Well, yeah. Maybe. Well, let's see what happens. Yeah. So, so you guys have probably heard uh, um, that uh, I think what is it? Ninety-six percent of the country, at least today, uh, is is has been issued stay-at-home orders. And so why is that? People are like, oh, this is killing the economy, and that's right. The economy is is so tough nowadays. I know a lot of people are having a hard time. Um, but why is that? Uh, staying at home it, it actually helps uh, you know stop the spread of the virus really quickly. Yeah. We can't really emulate that flattening the curve thing very well here, but what we can do is we can emulate staying at home. So yeah. I'm gonna pick a random position. So even at home, you're gonna move a little bit, maybe to get your groceries or, I don't know. To, to oh yeah, you might take a walk or something. Yeah, so anyway, like two steps. <laughs> yeah, two steps, yeah. but in some random direction. So let's see what happens and see if we're completely wrong or not. 
Well, a hundred still might be so many that it might still get contagious and start spreading. Well, let's see. Well, so yeah, so these guys are actually moving around and everybody's touching each other. Great. <laughs> So it does still spread, and you know why? It's because it's because this is kind of like being at home with 100 people in your house. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Everybody is so close together that everybody's touching. So it's not really emulating what's all staying at home. But let's uh, let's emulate that a little bit. So we're gonna. So now we're no longer out in the stadium with a thousand people, or, or we don't have like a hundred people inside our own house. Right. Um, so let's make it less dense and say there's only 30. There's 30 people out there. And uh, they're, well, I guess they're not really staying at home. <laughs> they're kind of well, all it. You could maybe change it to just one, you know, one, move it one, True. and then they're kind of staying at home. But yeah, then they're definitely staying at home. And then, um, you know, we can kind of see. So that one guy got sick because he basically went to his house. See, <laughs> like, yeah, see, he house. went to, he went to deliver the groceries to the wrong person. Yeah. Well, like I, four of them just there. all kind of went there. Yeah. But you can at least see how it's slowing it down quite a bit. Right? Yeah. And, like and, like before a hundred people were already con all contaminated by now. Yeah. Yeah. And in fact, you know, if, if we're if people are really staying at home, then 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 really staying at home in this situation is probably moving zero. Right. So if you're moving zero you can very safe. easily see that if you never go out to the grocery store or you never go anywhere, you're, kind you're of just safe. not going to get sick. You're totally Absolutely. safe. Absolutely. Even, even in this case, that one cat right next to the sick cat. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's probably playing a, playing a little hardball he there. Is, yeah. <laughs> he's he's on the edge there, risking it. He's on the edge, man. Yeah. But he's, he's healthy. <laughs> yeah, he's healthy. And see, as long as he doesn't move, you know, so, stay in your so, house. Yeah, I know you guys are all bored out there and, and uh, you know, doing uh, things at home and it's a little bit of a different world, but, uh, you know, it's part of what we need to do. Hashtag stay home is what they say. You can see that when you're staying home, it, it really does reduce the amount of uh, exposures that we do have out there. Yeah. Um, so I will, uh, I, I will end with this. You guys can see that this, this code is actually really short and easy. I guess Wayne and I are just rambling on, trying to be comedians here. We're, we're comedians, we're epidemiologists, we're AI. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, and we're producers now of a TV show. <laughs> um, so um, for the kids out there who, who put this uh, code together um, and understand it, which I hope you do, I um, have a couple challenges for you if you want to try them uh, at home. Um, you can uh, try to see if, uh, you, so, so, so make you guys move back in a normal way again. But your challenge is to see, see if you can make it so after they get sick, um, for about, let's say, 100 turns or so, they're sick, but then they turn back healthy. Now, that, that's something that's pretty possible in real life, too, right? A lot of these, most, most coronavirus folks, uh, you know, they, they end up uh, uh, getting better. Um, the, the death rate is quite low. I think it's somewhere around 1%, 2 or 3%. Again, I'm not an epidemiologist. Um, but try to, em try to put that emulation in your code. So after you get sick, about a hundred turns later, he turns back to healthy and then see how, see Very how cool. it runs. That's yeah, that's a great challenge. That's a great challenge. And it would actually make this emulation that much closer to real life because people do yeah. you know, recover. Yeah. Yeah. And so if you add that in, what will happen is once you recover, um, in your code, actually it, it, they might get sick again, which uh, I don't know if anybody knows if that's possible quite yet. But one thing you can add to your code, at least, to your simulation is, uh, uh, let's say they get sick and they get better, what you could do is just uh, make an assumption that they now have antibodies and they can't get sick anymore. So can you, so the, ch the challenge number two is, can you make it so that once they get better, that they can't get sick again? And then see, see how long it takes for people to get back to normal, um, which is what we're gonna be in, I don't know how long, but we will be there, guys. Uh, we will be there and we'll all be stronger for it. Yeah. So. I think that is the end of our Coder School app stream, which we haven't mentioned in a while. This is the Coder School app That's stream. That's true. Hansel, Wayne, and we are the Coder School app stream. That's right. <laughs> AOD. Channel. Actually, this is, this is the first, this is the first uh, so far uh, episode of the app stream from the Coder School. Um, now, hopefully, we'll be doing more of these. And if the shelter in place remains and I never get a haircut, 
Maybe by episode <laughs> five, I'm going to have a ponytail. And maybe by episode five, Hansel's going to have some hair. And I'm so going to grow up my dreadlocks, cool. man. <laughs> yeah, he used to have dreadlocks. Just uh, uh, Anyway, you can ask us on episode three about that one. So, yeah. All right. Awesome, guys. Thanks, everybody, for your time. Wayne, thanks for the awesome color channel, play-by-play, play, whatever it's called. Yeah, and thanks for driving <laughs> us through that cool, you know, first app. This is awesome. Really enjoyed right it. Until next time, somebody hit the stop button on the recording. <laughs> <laughs>